Good morning everyone. Uh, in this video we are going to talk about nonlinear systems of equations on Study Island. Uh, it is about graphing uh, nonlinear systems which means there is some part of that graph that is not a straight line. So if you look at that question too it is easier to see that the blue graph is a curve that's called a quadratic because the power of that uh, graph that equation is two that's a quadratic right here uh, when you have a power of two you're dealing with a quadratic if it's the highest power of the variable uh, is one then you are dealing with a linear equation that expresses a straight line the black one is 2x plus 2 the blue one is 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 so again nonlinear systems they have some part of the graph that is not a straight line uh, we are talking about the solutions of these questions which means there are going to be two graphs and then they're going to meet at one point or more than one point those points are going to be our solutions so looking at example one it says solve the system of equations this one here the first one is linear it represents a line uh, that goes down because of the negative three that's the slope and the second one is a quadratic that's going to be a curve it is going to be an upward curve because that's a positive one x squared it is a p if you have positive x squared uh, the graph is going to look like this if you have negative 2x squared negative 3x squared then the graph is going to look, look like this the curve is going to be downward so now uh, the, I will do the first question by hand and then I will show you how to use a graphing calculator that is going to be available to you on the state test uh, to solve these questions so the first one it says they're equal right solve the system of equations we have two of them y equals to negative 3 x plus 2 and then it also equals to the quadratic expression that we have so that means they're both equal like this right here equals to that so let's just set them up x squared plus 5x plus 17 equals to negative 3x plus 2 so for this first step uh, we should just put all these together on one side everything should be together so that we can factor out the quadratic so step one I want to get rid of this uh, I want to get rid of that negative 3x by adding it to each side plus 3x plus 3x and then also I want to get rid of this positive 2 on the right side by subtracting it by doing its inverse so plus minus cancelled out plus minus cancelled out and then now I can drop down everything on the left I have x squared I have two like terms 5x plus 3x they make up 8x positive 17 minus 2 is positive 15 bring down the equal and your right side now at this point if you still don't know how to break it down you might want to get back and then watch uh, the video that I shared about factoring out quadratics about I on IXL so I'll try to drop the link right this part of that video uh, so you can click and then watch that first and then get back to this assignment so that it makes sense so when I break it down I break it down in a way that x times x is x squared and then 15 is like 5 times 3 they both need to be positive so when I add these two numbers 5 and 3 I end up with positive 8 when I multiply those two numbers I end up with positive 15 again if it doesn't make sense get back on the video that I shared about IXL uh, factoring out quadratics now I pair these two together and these two together and I break it down as x plus 5 I put them next to each other and then I put the terms in the second line next to each other I have x and then positive 3 this is my left side I drop the equal sign this equal sign and then that zero now what I will do is called zero product property if you don't know anything about it if this is your first time hearing that you might want to look up zero product property on my YouTube channel so you can see what that is about so because of the zero product property I set this up equal to zero and then the solution that I receive from that is x equals negative 5 
and then set that one up equal to zero. Let me just do the work for this one so that we get the x all by itself and then x would be equal to negative 3. Again, if this doesn't make sense, look up the zero product property. Now I have two solutions, x equals negative 5, x equals negative 3. And if I want to write a coordinate, I write the x value first and then the y value, right? So my answers are going to look like the first one is going to start with negative 5 because that's my x value. I don't know what that is. And then the second one is going to start with negative 3. That's my x value, but I don't know what the y value is. So the actual way, if you want to do this by hand, we pick one equation and then plug in those numbers. But let's just check the answers we have to see how many of them has negative 5 and negative 3 for the x's. So negative 5, negative 3 positive 5 and 3, those are not my answers. These could be my answers, negative 3 and negative 5, negative 3 and negative 5. Now at least I know that this is not my answer. If you're going to guess the question, now you have less option to pick yours from. But uh, the, let's just, since we, don't end up, we didn't end up with only one option, you need to plug in one of those values. Let's plug in, let me see what to plug in. Okay, uh, let's plug in negative 3. I'm going to pick one of these equations. It doesn't matter. That looks simpler, so I want to pick that one. So I'm going to rewrite it. y equals negative 3x plus 2. Now I'm plugging it so that I put negative 3 for x, right? So let's rewrite it. y equals negative 3 times. I'm plugging negative 3 for x plus 2. So negative 3 times negative 3 is 11. 9 plus 2 is 11. That would be my answer for y. This means if I plug in negative 3, the answer is 11. There is only There should be only one, which is this, negative 3, 11. And then if you want to, you can plug in negative 5 and see the answer is going to be 17. Uh, so I'm going to show you a second way to do this question or Okay, I, I will show you the second way. So the answer is C, but let's just use Desmos to do this question. Y equals negative 3x plus 2. Negative 3x plus 2. I'm copying down everything. It should have been plus. I keep clicking equal for some reason. Okay, negative 3x plus 2. And then uh, x squared plus 5x plus 17. y equals x squared plus 5x plus 17, right? Let's double check. Uh, 5x plus 17. Okay, that looks right. Now, if I zoom out, let me get this out of the way. If I zoom out, do you see that I have three points marked? maybe even more. Let's just click on one of these graphs. I'm going to click on the blue one. And then it shows me three points, right? I, I see three points right now. So two of them are the point of intersection of the red and blue lines or graphs uh, because the blue one is another line. So this right here is one my first solution, negative 5, 17. That was an option. And then this right here is negative 3, 11. This right here, negative 2.5, 10.75, is the minimum point, the lowest point of that blue graph. That's why it is visible in there. And then the other point, the meaning of this is the y-intercept. It's the point of intersection between the vertical line and the blue graph. They are not going to help us with this question, but they are going to help, uh, help us with many other questions in the long run. But for the sake of this question, these are the points that I'm looking for. All you have to do is graph them and then see the point of intersections. Okay, back to uh, what we were doing. Let me just take this out of the way. Okay. So for question number two, uh, we see the answers over here. Uh, it says, what are the solutions, right? Let me just scroll up a little. Okay. In here, it says, what are the answers? Solve the system of equations, which means the point of intersections. They're meeting at here. Find the coordinates of this point. It's left one, up zero. 
and then the point of intersection the second one is right here right one up four so those two would be my answers that's it you don't need to do anything but if it was just this system given let's say you didn't know what the graph looked like you would just type those equations in on Desmos and then see that the graph is like this and then you would click on those points and then see their coordinates just like we did on number one and then you would have your answers so this one here would be D as in David okay scrolling down number three is exactly the same so I'm scrolling down number four is exactly the same just plot them and then see the point of intersections number five is exactly the same six is exactly the same seven is like number two we have the answers over here two eight and then negative two negative four it's not in there though oh it is in there it's C okay so moving down this is the same same okay there's one different question let's just focus on this question solve the following system of equations list the points in accordance in, in order according to their quadrants one two three four okay so let's plot those on Desmos y equals negative 3 over 2x negative 3 over 2x plus 2 okay that's done x squared minus 11 was it 11 over 2 I think it was 11 over 2 yeah minus 10 and then I gotta put this 2 in the denominator okay let's double check negative 11 over 2x minus 10 okay okay everything looks perfectly fine so the answer should have these two points negative 2 5 6 negative 7 those are the point of intersections those are my solutions let me just turn this camera just a little okay so those are my solutions but what is the thing in the end mean because it says list the points in accord in order according to their quadrants so you need to know what quadrant is what so this right here is called quadrant one you start from the top right corner okay top right and then go counterclockwise this is quadrant 2 quadrant 3 and then quadrant 4 so we don't have any point in the first quadrant we have a point in the second one so this should be our first answer negative 2 5 there's nothing in the third one there's a point in the fourth one that would be our second point negative 2 5 and then 6 negative 7 negative 2 5 6 negative 7 if you are working on your blue ribbon this is going to be uh, a question where you need to type the numbers in there if you put the 6 sev negative 7 as your first answer it is going to be wrong you're not going to get any point on this question because you don't know which quadrant comes first or how to name your quadrants uh, that's going to be the reason so make sure you know which quadrant is which you start from the top right and then go counterclockwise one two three four those are the quadrants you have and all other questions can be done using Desmos uh, thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions